It's called Conversation with the CEO. It's another episode for Conversation with the CEO, and we're excited about it. Now, today we're going to be talking with someone, as we always try to do, is help folks grow. We want to just get some more information. The more you learn, the better you get, and the more you can grow. Now, this is a, a touchy uh, subject, so I'm going to go ahead and say this ahead of time. If you have some children or, or uh, young people, and they may get offended of any sort uh, 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 of this conversation, we're telling you now get them out the room all right that's going to be very important uh, I'm not trying to be offensive but this this keeps coming up in this world of ceos so it's very important for me to find out why and to get an understanding of what it actually means so we're going to talk to someone who specializes in this type of work um now i don't know you, you know you, you hear about uh you know bill gates uh, getting a divorce. A lot of people were shocked about it, but now we're finding out that he he's a highly sexualized individual, you know, through a lot of the uh, reports that are now coming out. But uh, again, one of the richest men in the world, one of the most successful men financially in the world. Uh, he's given away tons of money for foundations and that kind of thing. So when you think about the book, Think and Grow Rich, chapter 11 exists. And uh, maybe that has some some type of connection. So we're just going to bring this specialist. Her name is uh, Mileo Negesti. Ooh, I hope you I got, got that. It. You got All it. All right. <laughs> she actually is the owner of her self-titled company, and uh, she has a uh, a uh, master's degree. Um, she's very educated, um, uh, very well liked. What she likes to be known as is a positive individual, someone who spreads uh, positivity, excitement, uh, motivation, all of those things into life. Now, one of the things we're definitely going to talk with her about is, is this, this part about this, you know, this sexual transmutation, this, you know, you are known to, to do things like give massages that are very, very intense on a yeah. level on a level that a lot of people would say, wait a minute, that's not a massage. That's something completely different. Uh, but you, you say this is healing. This is creating success. This is attracting things to a person's life. Yes. Uh, talk to us about this. Where, where does this come from? Now, I'm just going to be real. I grew up in the church. Grandma was sanctified. She'd have been telling that that woman is a sinner. Stay away from her. Don't you dare go over there getting any type of massages talking about that's helping you. That ain't helping you. So talk to us. What is this? <laughs> First of all, that was hilarious. Okay. Um, <laughs> so like you, I come from a Christian background. Okay. Catholic mm -hmm. and Pentecostal. So I got the double whammy from both mm -hmm. angles. So I get the, the taboo aspects of sex and sexuality and the fact that we couldn't even talk about it. It wasn't mm -hmm. okay. To, it wasn't a thing that was discussed, which is why we know so little about the truths of it. And just to tap on the power of it, the reason that it's so hidden and so, so secured by those who know is because of this power, because of what humanity can do with their sexual energy if they know what it is so that that that's why the church harnesses the energy and uses it to grow and grow and amass billions of followers and billions of dollars so mm -hmm. we can get into that on the back end so okay. um in, in terms of what i do um sensual healing is mm -hmm. ancient it's ancient okay. and a lot of times you'll hear people use the term tantra they use okay. tantra which is a, a Sanskrit word for an ancient Indian practice. But Tantra is life. And it is really about honoring the connection and the spirit or the divine in all things, all things at all times. So in Tantra, sex is not excluded. It's included because they recognize the importance of it, which is different from, you know. So so answer this for me. Why, why is it that like uh, a lot of successful individuals or CEOs and people that are in charge of a lot. Why do, how do they find out about this and end up using this as a, because it, it, it kind of is shocking when someone says that to you. They say, you know, I go and I get a, a sensual massage and, and that's part of my 
regimen for success. And, you know, you kind of get, you kind of get blown away by that. You go like, what, you know, like, what do you mean? Like, so basically if a, if, if, if a client sees you, they leave feeling like whatever they Brand felt, new. I was supposed to feel this. It, this Absolutely. was, this was supposed Absolutely. to happen no matter yeah. what it was. Is, yeah. Because, is, because it's not just a massage. It's a therapeutic session. So beforehand, we talk about things that you've never told anybody on this planet. And at the end of it, we then process everything you experienced from the beginning through the session. It's not just, I'm gonna grind on you and then you walk out. You know, okay. this is a healing modality. This is real, real stuff, okay. you know? So okay. you come in, you have this, we agree. I'm not just doing whatever. You're not just doing whatever. You don't even get to touch me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You don't, mm -hmm. because it's not about you giving. It's about you surrendering and opening up. You know okay. what I mean? Gotcha. So it's, it's uncomfortable and it seems sexual because I'm using the body because you will be aroused and stimulated in ways you haven't before, but it is more than that. It's so, so okay. much more than that. So this this plays into chapter 11 of, of, of the book, Think and Grow Rich, because it, the, you know the book says, it, it speaks about um, at this point when that sexual the desire presents itself that's when uh, you have the ability to take the most action be the most creative there are some things you'll never even imagine until you reach this level of sexual uh, trust desire me. Yeah. trust me trust me and it's so real um the way that you can um manipulate connect with and manipulate your environment Okay. It's, okay. It's a very, it's a very real thing. So how do, so how do people end up running into you? Like, how does one say, she, I have to see her. I'm supposed I'm like Yoda. to see her. It, it's one of, it's a, <laughs> it's, I'm on, I'm being honest. Like, okay. so I've, I've done this work, um, for 17 years. Okay. And my clients are not, just any old person you know like i'm on social media pretty active and pretty openly and you used to be surprised how dry my dm is when it comes to clients mm -hmm. because i'm not one i'm not promoting it because it's not something you promote like that you know right. i don't personally because of, of the way that i honor the spirit of that um so if you're if you come to me you're sent okay you're sent so your clients come sent to you Okay. They are sent, sent so, from so if so, if somebody's watching this 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 interview and they and this been on their mind and then here you are talking about it, you're basically speaking to them in this interview right now. Oh my goodness, that is pretty that is pretty powerful. Okay, okay. Tell me, walk me through when one when when someone sent to you, walk me through that process and what that is like. Then tell me how does it impact them success there's the success in their life okay so um if someone is sent to me they're at a crossroads because i am the person you meet at the crossroads and the crossroads is is a, an impasse you know a, a point of making a decision and going in a direction so that is really what my work is about it is just expressed through this you know this type of um avenue this, would, this you, the would, would, would you would you would you describe it as would you describe it as uh it's cloudy in a room and you can't see and then all of a sudden connect with you and then the cloud gets clear and you can see everything in the room all of a sudden totally i mean that that's the experience that every single person unless they were perverted okay, okay. and so i can say that in the very beginning of my work i attracted because i was figuring it out you know i wasn't okay. really certain on what this was because it was very new to me um as you know, an expression. So mm -hmm. I was like mm, attracting all kinds of people, all kinds of interesting. No one was like really depraved or, or harmful um, to me ever in all okay. the years that I've been doing it. But um, now with this level of refinement, just where I am with my own sexual energy, the people that I attract are, are chosen people. And they okay. are like, I need to know what my purpose is. Um, you know, I went through this Tra tragic loss someone died um i mm -hmm. i want to do this with my life but i don't know what to do with my life things like that or you know 
I'm impotent or I don't, I can't have babies or whatever it is. So what, what do you say to, what do you say to a person who feels like they're drawn to you, but the religious side of them, the Christian in them is, is, is they're fighting, they're battling with that, but, the, but they clearly feel you tugging at them, but they're still going, I don't know. I really don't know if I'm supposed to do this. What would you say to that individual? You want the real answer? Because 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 you. you <laughs> I, no, I I want the I want the real answer. Because, you want. <laughs> yeah, I want the real um, answer. Because you, you know this is, is you know this is real. I'm sure you've experienced this. Absolutely. The real answer is that you need to not be controlled by anything outside of you. The pull that you have to me is an inner pull, and you need to honor your inner pull, not what uh, your preacher told you or a book that you didn't write and you don't know who wrote those books. You know who they said wrote the books. And I honor every sacred book on this planet with my entire being. But what I do know is that there is a source of all this. And I don't need a book to, I don't need a book because I'm living it. I am the book. Okay. So that is, that inspiration comes from within with you. That's it. So if the pull is telling you, I need to get healed in this way, I need to have this level of, of um, depth in terms of conversation, in terms of connection on a soul level, because that's what this is about, then you need to make that appointment because okay. what you want is on the other side of that. Your power is on the other side of that. In fact, your power is what is calling you to it, but a higher, less like an initiation. When I say that I am a person at the crossroads, I mean that emphatically. And so, you know, if you want to mm. pop in your business, you want to make more money, you have a yeah. So a, that's what I was going. That's what I was. That's, that. that's that's what I was going to ask you. Do so. A lot of the, your, a lot of your clients are entrepreneurs, CEOs Mostly who get who, who get stuck who get stuck somewhere. And, Surely. And they're trying Surely. to get to that next level, and they and they and they're drawn to you to believe that you can. Absolutely, absolutely. Wow. Because that, people the, can, who. People who are um, saying that they want more, but they feel blocked. Most people that I talk to are like, I feel blocked. I feel blocked. You know, I feel like there's a blockage here. People who are very successful in their lives, in whatever they're calling is, they're like, I feel blocked. And something keeps telling me that I need more of this, but I don't know how to access it. So I don't okay. just do body work. I don't just massage people. I coach people. I guide people through... Um, pillars of self-love i guide people through mm -hmm. um like you know exploring their dark their darkness their shadows you their sound cute. expensive too by the way well hey <laughs> you're you're worth it i mean what's on the other side? i had to i had to throw that in there just to mess with you um but um i i get it, it, it it's, it's it makes sense i i think the main thing we're trying to figure out is you know there's so much information out there and you get lost in it and you go like well what do I believe? What don't I believe? What is out of line? What is in line? And I'm sure that you navigate that because you live it. You live this life. Right. What would you say? What would you say is your biggest regret if you had to say one in terms of uh, something that you you did within this that you say, okay, that I I would take back. In my work. Yeah. I don't have any. Okay. Awesome. You're at complete I peace with yourself. I, I am. If I if I have any regret, it's that I don't um, do more of it. That I don't I don't open myself up to you know more or the the everybody's. I'm not, and I will say that like I serve I serve royals. I serve people who acknowledge themselves to be kings and queens. I I service game changers. You know, people who have an impact on this planet who need to meet me or a person like me who was assigned to open the doors for them. Hope, All right. Them so, the so let's talk about this for a minute in terms of, of what it. you do. Um, you, you know, a person like you, you don't advertise. So, no. so how would someone in a whole nother state across the country from, how would they even find a person like you once this is tugging at them? What, how does that, so walk us through that. What do we, how do we, how do we know we're getting led to you the right way or someone like you? You'll know. How, how it, does that happen? It happens in a phenomenal way. It's not your average run of the mill type of um, experience. It's like a spark goes off. So people know 
know me from social media. Although on social media, I talk about a few things. Um, there are people on social media who will be very surprised to even know what I do because I don't really talk about or promote what I do. Mm -hmm. um, and so they'll be guided kind of through the rabbit hole. Um, maybe things will keep popping up for them, messages. Um, and they're like, hmm, there's something curious or intriguing. Then one day, boom, they see something that answers the question or somebody they know um, mm -hmm. who is familiar with my work because they've experienced it, saw me perform or something like that. Um, and they're like, you should check her out. I get a lot of people who are sent to me from people I've never met. Got you, got you. Never, ever, ever met. So when, so why, why are so many of us so uncomfortable with it, even though it's something we probably have in the back of our minds and, and, and want to deal with what, what, what is the problem? What's, what's, what's shaking us? What's making us uncomfortable? Indoctrination programming. It's one of the reasons that I do hypnosis. I'm a hypnotist as well. Okay. And so um, I got in it because I really knew that we had been brainwashed. Like humanity is very brainwashed when it comes to sex. Sex is something that's so confusing because mm -hmm. it's, it's this counterintuitive thing because we, naturally we have sex. We all came from sex clearly right? right right and then we and but we're taught that sex is not natural i mean it is not normal to do for enjoyment if you enjoy sex you're bad um sex is for procreation uh and in fact our lord and savior came here without any sex so you might want to stay away from it if you want to be sanctified and seen as holy um and there's major problems with that, major problems with it. It creates a lot of taboo. It um, creates a lot of uh, power struggles, internal and external, uh, mm -hmm. rape, rape and crime, violent crimes that are sexual, but are really about power mm -hmm. are, are a problem all over the planet because um, <laughs> people are not able to express their sexuality in ways that are natural to them, in ways okay. that are comfortable to them. We're taught a lot of nonsense, or not taught at all. Like Who money. comes? Yeah. People don't know about money. Oh, I, we money know that. We, hey, money. It, that's that's a shame. We don't know about money because if we did, boy, I tell you. Anyway, <laughs> with your clients, are are more women or men more comfortable with approaching this? this part of the, the once this is introduced to them who is more comfortable with it men or women and why oh well women are more comfortable for for a number of reasons but um primarily because of the woman's connection to spirit the woman is more connected and tapped into her intuition um following mm -hmm. her gut impulses and stuff like that and that is just that's just the nature of a feminine to be receptive you know a okay. receptacle a vessel um so we have women like more women are in church Mm -hmm. every church it's the same yeah. reason what i do is church so it's the same so more women come to me they're open um women are into self-care uh it is encouraged for women to take care of their bodies and be into their beauty and so this is just another level of beauty maintenance mm -hmm. you know self-care going to get massages getting therapy all of these things are you know um led by women and men are catching up gloriously yeah. but what i will say also what is, is um, in terms of, if you're thinking about people who are in power, um, I think that it's leveled, it's even, the playing field, because uh, from the beginning of time, men were the ones who accessed services like mine. Men are um, the ones who had the money to pay for services like mine, the means. Okay. And, and because of how men move in and out in the world, they can you know disappear and not be questioned and receive services like mine in secrecy. So men are the ones who've been doing this. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Well, listen, uh, I just want to thank you so much for hanging out with us today. How can people yeah. get in contact with you if they have more questions that I, I maybe I missed and didn't ask it, but they want to they want to know more? Uh, okay. How could they reach you? I prefer for people to hit me up on social media platforms, um, on Facebook and Instagram. Makes it very easy because there's just too many places to talk to people and I get overwhelmed <laughs> by all of the, the contacts. So um, if you want to find me on um, Instagram, you can look up Dr. Maleo Nagesti 
or you can look up what would Maleo say. You can also find me on Facebook under the same name. And those are the easiest. My contact information is on, on both of them as well. So you can, if you need to call to or text to set up a consultation, you can. Okay. And, now, and so I'm we, not only offering sexual services. I'm, I'm a spiritual um, guide. And so I do, you know, myriad of things. It's not just touching genitals and the like. That's, that's mm. part-time. <laughs> that's part-time. Okay. 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 Cool. She's more than that, y'all. So let's, let's get Hello. that part clear. So as a CEO, we always, we always ask this question. Um, okay. If there was someone who was looking to be a CEO, right? And they're getting to trying to go to that next level. What would what advice would you give them? Oh, oh, I would tell them to make sure to always be informed by your own creative energy. Be informed from inside. Your guidance, your next steps, who you're gonna connect with is all coming from inside. You're a magnet. And so if that's your mindset, then you will attract and materialize all that is for you. Business, money, opportunities, connections, all of that. I, I you know, I think metaphysics um, answers a lot of questions. New thought as well, you know, answers a lot of questions in terms of um, how influential we are, how powerful we are in um, directing our energy to create the lives we want. So yeah, that's what I would tell them. All right. Well, listen, I thank you so much for hanging out with us. That brings us to the end of this particular episode of Conversation with the CEO. Uh, I know it was a little touchy for some people, but listen, I've been running into this conversation a little bit more than, than, than less, and I felt that it was important to present this right in the, to this beautiful guest here today. And um, I, I, she, she was willing to walk us through this and help us to understand what does all of this really mean? All right. Because a lot of people are into this healing process, this vibration, this yeah. other level of, of, of what a lot of people, even if even if they're not willing to admit it, they admit it in secret that they're doing mm -hmm. it. You know. So Indeed. we wanted to <laughs> see there, she's uh, she's in agreement. So that's what we want to talk about. But it, as always, make sure whatever you do, you learn as much information as you can. Because when you stop learning, you stop growing. When you stop growing, you die.